Mario Sensei here, back again with another tier list video. Here we have the final episode of the Pokemon Starter tier list series. Now, here's my favorite episode, the final forms. I love these ones. So, they're some of my favorite Pokemon of all time, and there's so many fan favorites, and I just love their designs. They look so amazing. Let's get right into it. So, starting off, we have Venusaur. Now, of the three starter trios for the, um, Kanto, Venusaur, or Bulbasaur, was actually my favorite. I love Bulbasaur's design. I loved it a lot, and I think Venusaur, in my opinion, is a great Pokemon. I love how it slowly goes from a plant on the back of Bulbasaur to, like, a, fl uh, like a flower starting to bloom on Ivysaur, and now it's, like, a full-blown tree in Venusaur. I love the color, um, the colors blending like the blue green and red all so well together and i love the branches i think it's a definite a tier pokemon now next we have charizard now charizard is one of the fans favorite pokemon i everybody loves charizard he was even put into pokemon sword and shield as leon's main pokemon that's how much people love charizard now overall i thought it was a great pokemon i liked it a lot i love the um the kind of cyan dark blue color mixed with the red i think it's the perfect evolution for charmander definitely a great pokemon and is it because for personal preference i think venusaur beats charizard but charizard overall is a great pokemon and i think we can put it in a tier for right now charizard is a great pokemon Next we have Blastoise. Now Blastoise is simple in my opinion, but really good too. I love the the cannon sonnet into such a new and unique idea, which I liked a lot. I love the big jaw different color. Overall, I think it's a great evolution for Squirtle too. And yeah, I think it's really great. I love the huge shell and how all that's like its arms, legs, tail, and head are all coming out of the shell. That looks cool. And overall, I think Blastoise is a great pick. So all, all the Kanto starters get A tier. I think they're all definite Pokemon. Definitely great Pokemon. Next we have Meganium. Now, Meganium, I, a lot of people dislike this Pokemon because they, they, a lot of people said it wasn't very strong and the design wasn't very good, but overall, I thought it was pretty good. I like him on other people. I love the lily flower. It's so cute. I love the little, I don't know if it's an antenna, but antenna's coming out of its head. That's cool. The colors work really well together. And overall, I think Meganium is a really well-designed Pokemon. It doesn't have that much intimidation, but I love how they went with that dinosaur Brachiosaurus type of feel on it. It, it straight away from Venusaur's like monstrous feels and went for a more calming atmosphere, which I really liked. I think we can put Meganium in B tier. Now for Typhlosion, because Typhlosion is a Pokemon that a lot of people like, but for me, I dislike it. I don't, I don't think it's the best final form that Cyndaquil could have been. It lost the type of anteater kind of theme that they were going for, and I feel like it's kind of too simple and kind of dull. It's overall, it's... I like the color combinations, but you gotta do something more with it. I mean, look at Venusaur. You got leaves coming out, a huge face, they got an entire palm tree or tree on, on top with so many overlapping colors that works well. But with Typhlosion, there was just the flames in the back and the overall just... It, it looks too regular and simple. I think we can put it in C tier for right now. Same with Feraligator. I thought that it was a bit too simple. But I think it's better than Typhlosion. I like the little the red kind of spikes there. And I think it's a great Pokemon too. Going into the Hoenn starters, we have Sceptile. Now Sceptile is a huge fan favorite Pokemon. Everybody I know likes Sceptile. It's 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 such a well-designed Pokemon in my opinion. It didn't strike me as like other Pokemon did, but I think we can put Charizard to S T now that I see it. But I think Sceptile. I love the the colors. I love like the yellow like balls on its on its back. I love the type of like tree branches or leaves on its tail. That looks cool. I like its 
kind of stance that I thought all that was cool, but it didn't really strike me as that like need to get Pokemon. I have to get stuff. Oh, it's amazing. It's the best Pokemon ever. I just thought it was decent. Um, I think we can put it there for now. Now we have Blaziken. Now Blaziken is a Pokemon that I always like. I love that. I think it was firefighting. Hopefully it was firefighting typing, but I think it looks really good. I love the huge hair coming down, the red kind of things coming from its, its eyes. I love the huge legs with the yellow there. That works really well. And overall, I think Blaziken is a really well-designed Pokemon. I love the firefighting typing. It works really well. It actually felt like a firefighting starter. And I think we can put it in S tier. Now we have Swampert. Now Swampert was, I think it was, it's the evolution of Mudkip, which I thought was the best, uh, I think it was, yeah, I think I put it as the best um, first stage evo first stage starter, and I think that that's all cool. And I think Swampert definitely delivers. It's a really well-designed Pokemon. I love the backstory too, how it makes like forts out of mud when storms come, and I love its design with the fins. The orange and the blue work well together with the kind of darkish gray. I love its stance. I love the water ground typing. And I think Swampert is basically all my favorite things. Definitely S tier. Torterra is a underrated Pokemon in my opinion. A lot of people see it as kind of dull and too simple, but I thought it was amazing. I love the I love how it's like a full continent on its back. The tree Having a tree on its back, it felt like, okay, you got a tree on your back. But when you actually put it into a Pokemon, it looks so beautiful. It, it works so well. Torterra, it's, a, it's basically a tank. And I love the grass ground typing that works well. And I think we can put it in S tier for now. I think we can put it... I think we can put Torterra there. Next, we have Infernape. Now, Infernape was also a firefighting starter and then we're getting into the Sinnoh starters now and as much as I like it for me I thought it was lacking that fire a little bit but it did have the the flame on the back of its head which I thought was cool um I love the color combinations I love how everything is designed I think it I love the fire monkey type of thing it's a great evolution of Chimchar and I think it I think we could put it in A tier right there um, I think we can put it there, actually. Now, Empoleon. Empoleon strike me as, wow, that's unique because it has a water steel type. When do you see a water steel type? You, like, never see that. I love the type of, like, spikes on the, like, the fins of Empoleon. I love the, the crown on it. I like how it's, like, the king of the penguins. I love that theme, and I think Empoleon works really well. I think I put it in an A tier. Next we have Superior. Now Superior, I thought, okay, I thought Superior looked cool, but it didn't strike me as like the final stage evolution. It should still be a little bit cute because like it, it, it's a starter Pokemon, but it should be fierce, strong, a big Pokemon, a tank. And Superior just doesn't look like that at all. I, I haven't played with it. I haven't played the black and white games, but from what I've seen of it, it just doesn't feel like a final save. I think its design is okay. It just felt weird, and I think we can put that in C tier for right. I think Typhlosion is better. Embor. A lot of people don't like Embor, but I thought it was amazing. I love it shiny too. The color. I like how the flames are blue and it's shiny. Embor is just really well designed. I do not know why people don't like this Pokemon. I love the, like, the designs here, the flames around its neck were really cool, the big black um, eyelashes were cool, and overall it's a big tank Pokemon. I thought it was really good. So I think we can put Embor... I think we can put Embor here. I, I love it too, I don't know why people don't like it. To finish off the Unova starters, we have Samurott. Now, I love how it, at the bottom of its like legs it has swords. I never knew that. I recently found out that was really cool. The whiskers, the... I love how it was... I think it was based on like a sea otter, I think. Um, I love the type of... I, I don't know, spear at the top, but I think it works really well. And Samurott is overall a well-designed Pokemon. I think we can put Samurott in B tier. Um... 
Yeah. I, I, I take note that in B tier and C tier, these are no bad Pokemon. I mean, if they were bad, I'd put them in D tier, but these are the final forms, and I think they're all amazing. So even if something gets C tier, I think it's still a good Pokemon. Going into the combo starters, we have Chestnut. Now, Chestnut, I think a lot of people overlook. They just go, oh, Chestnut. But I thought, oh, wow, Chestnut. It, it went away from, like, the the the, 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 like, the color combination that Chestspin had, but I think it works really well. It kind of has those jagged, like, spikes like Empoleon on its hands and I love the type of beard and overall it, it's colors work somehow some way they work really well together they look they come together into a really well designed Pokemon I think and I think it looks really good I think we can put it in B tier now we have Delphox hmm. a lot of people don't like Delphox and overall if 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 Delphox didn't have the stick flame as its main weapon, I would have liked it so much more. I love the big flames in the ears. It looks good. I love the well, I love the color combinations here. Kind of like a dress. So I thought that worked well. And overall, I think Delphox is an okay Pokemon. Just the stick made it look weird, and it didn't have anything of that like, wow, that's a fierce Pokemon. So I think we can put it in C tier. Now Greninja. Wow, Greninja. Greninja is, in my opinion, one of the best starters in Pokemon, or best starter evolutions. I think it's actually the best so far. We can, I think definitely S tier. Its design is so well made. I don't know what happened with Delphox and Chestnut. Why couldn't they all be as good as Greninja? The name is awesome. I love the Kind of like the weird like hand designs, like the scarf that looks awesome. I love that it was based on a frog water shuriken as its move. That is awesome. I think it works really well and I just love its design so much. Going into the Alola starters, I love the Alola starters. We're starting out with Decidueye. Decidueye, in my opinion, well, I, I think everyone loved Decidueye. Its design is so well made. It, it, it looks so cool. I love the archer theme of it. Like, uh, I think it was like Green Arrow or what was it? Uh, uh, Robin Hood. That's what it was. I love how it kind of has a hood on and it, like the glasses with its like leaves. That was cool. I definitely think Tsujiwa is a really well designed Pokemon. I think we can put it there for now. In Cinnamon War 2, I thought was really awesome. I have so many S tiers. Just because Pokemon, the final forms are so well made. And Cinnamon was really cool. And they even added it in Smash. Like, when do you have the in Smash? I think we've only had Greninja, Charizard, and Incineroar, I think. What is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And overall, I think Incineroar was, was really cool. I love the kind of like boxer feel. I think it's really cool. I love the how it's evolution from Lin, and I think it's definitely an A tier Pokemon. I think I could put it there for now. Now Pre Marina, a lot of people dislike I don't know if they don't I don't know if they dislike Pre Marina, but I don't think that people think of it as that great Pokemon. But overall for me Pre Marina is Primarina is one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. I think we can put it put it here. I think it it's so I think we can move Blaziken down to here. Primarina is so well designed. It, I love the sea otter feel too. It's just so well made. I love the the, the blue kind of tail here. The the hair looks so beautiful and it's just such a majestic Pokemon. It works so well with the Hawaii themed region. And I think Primarina is so cool. The colors with the light blue, the pink, the white, and the dark blue or royal blue. That works really well. And I think Primarina is a really well-designed Pokemon. Going into the Sword and Shield final evolution starters. Going with Rillaboom. Overall, from what we see here, I thought Rillaboom was really cool. The I love how its mouth is kind of like red and the leaves work really well. I think it's really like strong Pokemon. That looks really fierce. It's, it's really what we needed and it's really what we got. But I feel like the drum that I, I don't know if I might even post a picture of it, but the drum looks so weird with it and it didn't feel right. But overall the design that we have right now I think it's definitely B tier. 
Now that we have Cinderace, Cinderace, everyone thought was gonna be that soccer themed Pokemon. And definitely what it what it was. I love the ears. The design is so well made. Um. I think we can put Cinderace there. I think Cinderace. It was. I was scared picking Scorbunny because I didn't know what its evolutions were, but I was blown away by Cinderace. It looks awesome. I love the huge ears. I think it was like dark, 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 dark blue with the red, orange, and white. I love that there's still a lot of white in it because that like makes it pop out, and I think it it, it it lets that red like have more to it. Like look in Charizard with the orange. Like okay, it's orange, but in Cinderace, like wow, that orange is really bright. The colors here so go, go so well together, and its move Pyro Ball was awesome. Oh, and Teleon. Ooh, I said I think I said this was one of the worst Sword and Shield Pokemon um, final evolution Pokemon for starters. It's so weird. It's ugh. It's so slender. Its pose is so weird. I know it's supposed to be a sniper, but that is not what a sniper looks like. Ugh. It's so weird. I do not like Intelli. I don't want the video to end on a, on a low note. Um, I want that on a high note. I just want to say I love all of these Pokemon. Maybe not them. Maybe not some. Maybe, maybe some more than others. But I like. I like them a lot. Poke or Game Freak did a really good job making these Pokemon so unique and so well designed. And I hope you enjoyed the video too. I put a lot of work into this series, and I hope you enjoyed. Tejo Sensei out.